What's up everyone? This is Reggie Beats. Welcome back to Reggie Beats Media. And today I got a banger. Got a banger of a video. So I'm gonna show you how to create licenses for your Shopify store. So I'm gonna show you how to automate your licenses for a Shopify Beat store. So if you have purchased the Beatify starter kit template, thank you. And this will definitely work for your template as well. So let me show you how this works. So for this to work, I've actually made a tool here, which we're gonna use to be able to create these licenses. So this tool is free to use. I've made this tool based on the problems that we've been having. And I think this will solve the problems of not being able to automatically create bid licenses when somebody makes a purchase all right so let's check out this shopify bit store because this is where we're going to actually use our licenses as you can see it's a bit store template and if you are in this template as well it's in the description below it's called the bidify starter kit and it's the light version so yeah we're going to be adding the licenses to this so first thing first that we're going to do we need to go to settings so when you're on your dashboard you're going to go to settings and you're gonna go to notifications. So here by notifications is where your emails are being sent. Then you need to confirm your email. So just click on recent verification because your email has to be verified because you can change any notifications. So I'm gonna click on recent email, then I'm gonna go to my email. Then I'm gonna come here and click on verify email. All right, now you can see my email has been verified so I can edit my notifications. So notifications is the emails that get sent out when a purchase or an order is made. So now you're gonna go to custom notifications because you want to edit the notifications that goes out. So the one that you're gonna edit is the one that is called order confirmation. So what we're gonna be doing is that Shopify gives us access to this code here. So we can edit this code and be able to add our bit licenses on this page. So the only different thing is that the bit license wouldn't be a PDF on this page, but it will be just text. So we're gonna add the bit license just there at the bottom, but it's gonna be automated. And I think that should still work as a bit license because it's gonna have all the information that a bit license has. And if you want to edit out some of the things you can, because as I said, Shopify does give us the code. So let's click on edit code. So this is the code for the content that we just saw. And as you scroll down, you can see it's a lot of code here. So you can actually edit and customize your email any way you want it, you want it to look. So we're gonna scroll down and go all the way down to the bottom because we want to add something at the bottom of the page so it can be easy for us to even maintain the page. So before we even add our licenses, we need to go out create our licenses. So I got my example licenses here from ChatGPT. I'll use simple ones. So you can see I have the standard lease and the premium lease only. That's the ones that I'm gonna use for this example, but you can do for all your leases. So for the free uh, tool, you can only do two, but there's a pro version where you can do unlimited at the same time. So let's go back to this and then you're gonna copy the first one, which is the premium standard lease. Then you're gonna go to our tool here and I click on add license and then you're gonna type the name of the license so this is very important that the name of the license matches the name the name of your licenses on your products let me show you so when i go to products here let me just look for a beat because that's a loop okay you see here my licenses are what standard lease and premium lease and exclusive but i'm gonna do for this too so you need to copy these names exactly the way they are so the one where it says standard lease when you get to the tool it needs to be standard lease for real because if you don't copy it directly the tool is not gonna work standard lease and then you're gonna add another license this one here is gonna be premium lease premium lease so i'm gonna copy my standard lease right here for my chat gpt you can use your licenses and then i'm gonna go to the tool so i'm gonna paste my standard list right here so as you can see my standard list currently is just a template because it doesn't have any specific information about 
the client or my big store so there's a lot of values here that can be replaced with the placeholder such as the licensee name the license title so that when the license gets printed it has the right information of the customer and the specific bit so here we said your studio name that's where your studio name comes in or it could be the producer name so i can just write reggie beats here okay so now we're gonna go to licensee name and we don't know the, the, the name of the licensee which means we're gonna use the variable so we're gonna scroll down and you see i have a table of some variables that you can use to be able to get the name of the person who's buying the the beat so you're gonna go to customer name here just copy this scroll all the way up where it says licensee i mean yeah licensee name you paste that and now you see there is date because the date has to be the current date of the transaction when the date when the user makes that purchase so you're gonna also go scroll down and copy this where it says created at i'm gonna scroll all the way up and paste it right here so which means now when this license gets printed it's gonna have the date and the name of the person who's buying and as you scroll down we have some other things that we can change as well like license fee so we can scroll down as well and look for line price line price is the name of the variant which could be the mp3 or the lease so i'm gonna copy that and paste it here by license fee and number of copies you can just write any number you want because it's not gonna change as this will only apply for the standard lease so the text for the premium lease we're gonna edit right here on the next one so here is everything about a standard lease and you can do that and you can just go through the template and add all the other things you can add your addresses even though you don't see it here but here's this link here so you can be able to get more uh, variables that you can use you see if i click here and i scroll down there's a whole list of variables there's the address and everything so you can just go through this page to add whatever you want to add so for us i think this is enough for the standard lease and we'll just copy the same thing and paste it for the premium lease because it's just a demonstration i'll just change a couple of things where i just say premium lease on the title so you can see how it works okay so now i'm done adding my two licenses and you'll see if i try to add another one I'm gonna say i can only add two i must subscribe to premium to be able to create unlimited licenses but for now two will be fine for me so when you are done you're gonna go click on copy shopify copy to shopify and you click on copy to shopify then you go back to your shopify store notifications custom notifications order confirmation then you click on edit let me just refresh all right once your code is open for the custom notification you're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom all the way down to the bottom so that the code can be the last thing on the page so it's gonna be easy to identify and as you can see here i added last time let me delete this one that i added previously and it's all gone so after the html closing tag that's when you can post it so that it doesn't interfere with your previous content at the top so since i clicked on copy to shopify in my clipboard there's the code i just click on paste and here's the code that we have created up there that's how it looks so the tool so the tool helps you to make this code even quicker and you can see it has all the formatting that's there so you can put a list and everything i didn't do much formatting on this one because it's just for demonstration so once you are done there you click on save after clicking on save you're gonna see a preview here and you can also send a test email so we're just gonna check it and luckily on our preview it has added i mean we have an instrumental that has the standard lease so which means at the bottom of the page you must see the code for the standard lease so let's scroll down there we go here's our code for the standard lease standard lease agreement is entered between reggie beats that's me and john smith that's the person who bought the beat and remember we didn't put a name here so this is just an example and you scroll down so all of those things that we've added here and the date is not here because we didn't purchase so this is how it would look on the email and remember we didn't do much styling to it so you can do your styling at your list make sure your font is not too big and all that from there and from here the user can just save this email or print this email as you can see you scroll all the way up there's a print right here they can just print this email and keep it as a proof of purchase 
there we go as you can see there we go right there here's the license right here then you just click on save then at the end it becomes a pdf so yeah that's how this tool works and when you go back to the tool and when you go back to the tool you can see you can do your styling you can change your text heading however you want it so you can take your time with it and you can save your session meaning that you know you can do it and save it and continue tomorrow no need to finish everything all in one day so yeah thank you for watching this video and that's the tool the link for this is in the description below it's free to do these two licenses try it out and check it out and start selling your beats on shopify because currently the and start selling your beats on Shopify. Thank you for watching. I'm out. I'll see you guys on the next one.